Hey everyone, it's Varian coming back at you with another Truba news update. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about why we automated our Facebook feed. Now, why did we decide to do this? Well, we, we need to get more people using the platform. Essentially, it's still in its early days, and I know we try to make it look as clean and as professional as possible, but we just need more people using it to get more feedback in terms of what we can do better. And um, with that in mind, we, we started thinking about, okay, well, if we want more people to use our tool, what is our tool actually doing for them? What value is Truba.News providing? And really what we're providing is, is a minimalist experience of the news where you're getting just the news and nothing else, quality information, where you don't have to think about anything like uh, ad targeting or or other people on the social platform if they see what you're liking or not liking or none of that. It's just news, that's all it is, no ifs and buts about it and you get a variety from different sources. So if that's really what we're offering people, how can we com best communicate that message to people? Then really it's just by providing them that same service. So that's why we decided to automate the Facebook feed. A uh, news article will go up at 8 a.m. 12 p.m., 5 p.m., and 9 p.m. And uh, these are news articles that are on our uh, webpage, on, on the front page. Now, that since this is an automated service, um, there might be, there's a chance that there's a news article that causes controversy. If there is a controversial news item that shows up, uh, flag it, let us know, and, and we'll take it down. And that'll be the end of it. We're going to do the same thing for LinkedIn. Um, the API isn't giving us any response right now, um, which is kind of weird. And if you look at their documentation, they say something about it being due to the nature of cloud servers, uh, which is uh, kind of shady. Like to give you an analogy, it means it's like uh, to say a boat might sink due to the nature of the sea and there being storms in the sea. Like, okay, we get it that that is true, but you sort of build a ship with the sole purpose of it not to sink. So like one of your focuses should be, you know, making it storm resistant. Anyways, that that's just a small technical rant. Should we do the same with Twitter? I don't think Twitter is the best place for this automated news service because our news is really focused on the last 24 hours. Everything you see on our website is really the last 24 hours of news. And with that in mind, it, it news sort of goes through a small vetting process in in those 24 hours twitter is more of a what's happening right now so you, i mean you have good and bad information journalists especially are very good at uh at following the right people for quality information and, and sifting through the bad and the good that's that's their jobs but why would people who are on twitter care about news from the last 24 hours news is twitter is all about the now so anyways if you guys want it, we'll do it, but we're not really seeing the point right now. Some other Troop updates, we've improved the search engine. So for you subscribe users using the search engine, now if you enter two words, you're going to get a lot better results. So if you entered uh, Trump, Obama, you won't get articles on Trump and articles on Obama. You'll instead get articles on both Trump and Obama, which just generally gives much better results. Please try it out. Let us know uh, what works and if you have any search terms that generally give you good news results. The categories as well, uh, all the news articles on our different category tabs uh, used to sometimes be a bit uh, not related to the category, but now we've improved that a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, we're still working hard at it. Hope you've enjoyed everything we've done so far and uh, let us know what you'd like us to do next. Have a nice day. Bye.